In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can compute FST values using VCF tools. But before we start the exercise, let's look at what an FST value is. FST stands for Physician Index and it is a population genetic statistic that is used to measure genetic differentiation between and within populations. FST values are usually between 0 and 1. A value of 0 indicates small genetic differentiation and a value of 1 indicates high genetic differentiation. In order for you to follow this tutorial, you need to make sure your PC satisfies these requirements. You should have a Unix like operating system, i.e., Linux or macOS, and you should also have VCF tools installed. Instructions for installing VCF tools are in the description box. Now let's proceed. We are now going to download the example data. The data is available on one of my GitHub repos, which is here. I will leave the link to this repo in the description box. So we have the VCF file, which has variants for 60 plasmodium fasciparum isolates. Now the original data set can be found here on the malaria gen site. I will leave the link to this page also in the description box. So I took the original VCF file and then I downsampled it and also filtered so that um, I finally had high quality variants, and that is what I'm going to use. Okay, so the data here, I made mention um, it's it's made up of um, variants for 60 plus modern fasciparum isolates. Okay, so these isolates were taken from two different countries. In other words, we have two uh, populations here. Okay, so one population is from the Gambia and then the other one is from Bangladesh. So these are the two populations. Okay, so let's download the data. When you are here on the GitHub repo, you will see this file. So just click it and then you'll be sent to another page. So here, just click on the download button here. So click on the download and then you'll be asked to save it. Okay, that's what it is. But because I'll be using the terminal, I will download using my terminal. Okay, so I'll just copy the download link. So I'll right click and then I'll copy the link and then I'll open my terminal and then download from there. Okay, I am in the terminal now. Okay, um, this is my command line. What I'll do first is to create a directory and then I'll seed into it. That'll be my working directory. So I'll say make the, let's say FST. And then I'll cd into it. Perfect. So now I'm going to download the VCF file. Now with the download, you can use wget or you can use curl or you can use other um, command line downloaders. But I'll use wget or wget, okay, because I have that on my system. If you are using macOS, you can use curl also. So I will say wget. And I'll supply it with the link to the file, the VCF file, which is here. And then I'll download it. Okay, so download has been done. Let's check the file. So if I do an ls, I'll find the file here. Okay, so this is the VCF file that I'm going to use. Perfect. Now we are going to explore this VCF file. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the samples. To get the samples, I say VCF query dash L, and then I'll supply it with a VCF file. So this will list all the samples. Okay, let me just repeat again. I'll say VCF query dash L, and then I supply it with a VCF file. And then I'll execute it. Okay, so I'll have all the samples display here. So you can also count them. If you want to count the same command, you use a pipe and you say wc-l. This will give you the number of samples. So we have 60 samples here. So the 60 samples that we have, 30 are from the Gambia, 30 are from Bangladesh. So let's look at it. And this is where naming convention also comes in handy because if you have a good naming convention then you can use some linus commands to uh, kind of um, get um, these uh, populations okay 
into different files but we will look at them so first of all let's look at let's just look at the samples again um, i'll use this command this time i'll do this yeah so i want you to look at um, the sample names so i have pr and i also have pa okay so some of the um, names begin with pr some begin with pa so the pr ones are those from bangladesh and then the pa are those from the gambia okay so if we are going to compute the fst values then we need to have the sample names or the sample ids if you call it that way uh, we need to have them in different files so uh, the samples for isolates taken from the gambia will have to be in one file and then those taken from bangladesh will also have to be in a different file okay and uh, this should be text files so we are going to use some Linux commands to get these sample names or sample IDs into their respective um, files. Okay, so I'll label them as pop1 and pop2 so that uh, they match uh, this VCF. But you can use any name as well. It, it doesn't matter. But I just want to uh, make sure I streamline things. Okay, so I'll start with PR first so i'll say vcf query dash l i'll supply my file name that's for the vcf file and then i'll use a pipe and i'll say grip and i'll say pr like this okay pr okay uh so basically what i'm doing that's i'll have the lists displayed and then the grep command here will look for this part in pr so all the samples that have pr in them okay i will be displayed so let's do this let's just look at how this can be done so this is a simple command so let's um, run this perfect so you can see only the sample names beginning with pr have been displayed here so that's it but this were displayed we want to save to an output file so i'll also use this greater than symbol here and i'll say pop1.txt that's our population okay that's the first one okay so that's um it's um yeah so that's population one so if i do an ls i'll see pop1 that is what I have here. I've used the cut command to display it. Okay, that's for pop one. Now let's do for pop two. So for pop two, that's population two, will be VCF query dash L. I still get my VCF file and then I'll say grep. And this time I say P. And now I'll just save it as pop2.txt okay so that's for pop2 i'll use the head command to display let's say the first um, few lines here okay so that's for p okay so now we have both um files ready let's check them again so let's do an ls here and then you'll see these two files so this is pop1 this is pop2 so now we have all the necessary files we, we, we need for computing the FST values. Okay, so let's proceed. So to compute the FST values, uh, this is the command that we have to use. So let's do that. To compute the FST values, I will say VCF tools, and then I will specify the file type. Here we have a VCF file which is gzipped. And so I'll say dash dash gz vcf. And then I'll specify the vcf file, which is pop1 underscore pop2.vcf.gz. And then I'll give my fst command. So that's just dash dash weir dash fst dash pop. And then I will supply the file name for population one. So that is pop1.txt. 
and then I'll say dash dash double E R I R dash F S T pop and then I'll supply pop two. And then I also give my output file. So that'll be dash dash out. And then I give the name that will be um, used. Okay, so this name will be will be the prefix for all files that will be generated. So I say pop one versus pop two. That'll be the name. So I'll run this command. Perfect. So everything has been done now. So let's check the files. This was first. Let's do an ls and you see some file generated. So we have a log file here. We also have this one here. So this has the FST values. Okay. So let's do a head pop one versus pop two. WER.FST. Okay, so we have everything here. So we have the chromosome number. We also have population. We also have the FST values here. Okay. Now the FST, uh, sometimes you have negative values, but these negative values, uh, we always um, convert them to zero. Okay, because FST values, uh, we normally put them in a range of zero to one. So if there is negative, we just uh, make them zero. That's what you should know. Okay, so that's about. So this file here, you can still view it on your PC. So let's check how to view that as well. So I'll just um, open it with any text editor or spreadsheet software, and then I can view this file here. So I'll try that now. Okay, so this is a file. Let me open it with a text editor. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I have it here. Uh, you can also open it with a spreadsheet software. Okay, so I have it here as well. So you can open them and then inspect. Okay, so we have chromosome 1 up to chromosome 14. Okay, because um, that's for we are dealing with plasmodium passiparum isolates. So chromosome 1 to 14. And then we also have the position and then the fst values so that's about it so this is how we use vcf tools to compute the fst values now with the values uh, you can visualize them okay um for example you can generate manhattan plot using the fst values here and that will help you to interpret your results and help you to explain the genetic variation within the populations of interests Okay, so watch this next video which shows you how to use R to generate Manhattan plots based on FST values.